Cave Explorers of the Forest. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deciduous DJ. We are back in Northern Journey. We've uh, just emerged from Ohol and got the Night Shield, which we can see in our inventory here. So we've got three of the five shields that we're after. So just two left. Now, the next thing we're going to do is uh, go back to the ferry that we saw. Uh, because I've been informed as to how uh, how to get across. So as I wander around, I'm going to uh, just do a couple of shout outs here. So first one, um, thanks so much to Ollie Dog, who has been leaving a whole bunch of comments on my, these Northern Journey videos um, with all sorts of tips um, and other observations. So thank you for that. Really appreciate it. Um, and second is... Um, from Bethany, who left a really thoughtful comment on my Terra Gill playthrough. So thank you for that. As being a really tiny channel, it's any bit of in, any bit of interaction I get is super encouraging. So I really appreciate uh, both of you leaving those comments. So thank you for that. And so yes, as part of this, uh, one of the comments that Ollie Dog left was get across uh, the ferry, and that's by just continuing to look at the barrier. Um, instead of trying to jump across like I did. I feel like I'm going the wrong way, but that's pretty standard for the course here. So we're just going to keep wandering until we find something. Okay, now this is where we got the headlamp. So not here. The other thing uh, that I've been thinking about a bit is with turn-based games or other games that aren't as real-time as this, it's easy to give observations and thoughts on, uh, like, beyond the current moment of gameplay. Because I guess there's space and time for you to do it. Um, with a first-person shooter like Northern Journey... This is... goes back to Troll Hall, right? So we don't want to go there. Alright, so continuing to try and find where we're going. I took, I realize now I took the wrong, oh no. I forgot this was here. Can I jump out? No. Yes, yeah, so what was I saying? Right, so it's more difficult to give observations on beyond the current moment in an FPS game or other games that are like uh, very real time and require real time focus. Especially with a blind playthrough like this, where I, if it was a game that I knew and I played before, I'd probably be able to uh, give better observations. Because I wouldn't be so focused on what I was doing at the current time. Whereas, this game kind of demands my undivided attention most of the time. So, beyond sequences like this where I'm just walking around, uh, especially at the combat, it's, uh, yeah. But, I figure I can give um, thoughts on past episodes in current episode. So, for example, Troll Hole, that was sort of a high stakes, um, high impact uh, thing, sequence, where there was lots of like moment to moment decision making. Um, that was really fun. That was actually really fun to do. Um, so, I can point out a couple of things that I liked about it, right? So, if one was. The, I can't remember what was it, the Warden or the Guardian? That sort of water dwelling tentacle monster uh, that we encountered a couple times. So that was the same thing, obviously, that attacked us in Ravenwatch um, briefly. Uh, but I like the fact that it wasn't just copy pasted into Trollhole, it was um, like turned into this platforming sequence. So it was really given this additional sort of layer to it that made it interesting. Um, and beyond that, like again, the fact that there's, every place has kind of like its own unique mechanics and enemies um, is just really good. It makes every place sort of feel special and makes the game more fun. 
feel like we're getting close now. Yeah, this looks familiar. Okay, I think... I think I know where we are now. It's... Up here somewhere. Am I going in a circle? Yes. Yes, I am. Right, and the other one, the other thing that I found, okay, here we go, is that about Troll Hole was that uh, the actual troll fight was, felt like kind of like a culmination of everything that we'd covered. Um, like all the skills that we'd learned around, you know, having to dodge um, and use different weapons. I felt like I was all kind of put to the test uh, in that fight, which was, yeah, made it really good and gave us sort of a sense of satisfaction at the end. So, it was good. Okay, I can't save now because we're in interaction. But, so I'm going to take, uh, take the advice <laughs> that I got and just keep looking at the farrier. And hopefully, this will mean that we just get where we need to go. Now, obviously, these like cave like environments. Yes, Retond Nog. I don't know how you say that. Um, yeah, these cave-like environments sort of, they let down the, well, I shouldn't say let down, they're sort of weaker in appearance than uh, the sort of lush, open other world environments. Um, so compare green, green slit to troll hole. Uh, troll hole was basically nothing, nothing to really look at. Um, though there were some cool features, all things considered. Um, oh, okay. Hang on, this is where we got to last time. What's going on now? Oh my god. Oh my god, are we about to be attacked? Oh no. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. That was horrifying. Wow. All right. Well, I guess uh, that was one of the witches that the <laughs> barrier was talking about. Oh boy. Okay. Glad we're across. I'm going to definitely save now. And we're in a new environment. Let's look around and see what we can see. Yeah, so even in Trollhold there were some interesting features. Like um, that waterfall where we had to go down just before we... I uh, encountered the, one of the platforming sequences with the Guardian. Um, just the fact that there were unique enemies, like that Troll Summoner thing. Not Troll Summoner, the Summoner, whatever it was. Um, that was pretty cool, too. Alright, so we've got two options here. Ah, oh, this was... okay. This was closed before. So I guess now this is just permanently open to us. Full arrows still. This is foreboding. Always quick save. Always, always quick save. Wonder where this goes. It's pretty tight quarters. Oh, in the tower? Okay, feels like we might be in that tower that we saw from outside. Yeah, this looks familiar. Okay. So we know we know where we are now. Uh-oh. What the hell? Whoa! Oh my <laughs> That's a lot of ghosts. Definitely a jump scare. Wow. Um Okay. I'm gonna use this just because. Let's see, we've got plenty of ammo. Let's see if we can pick them off after they just kind of materialize. 
where... Okay, it looks like it's just within this area. Come on now. <sighs> Unfortunately, I might have to like just wade through them to get to somewhere where I can fight them. Alright, let's do that. Running, running, running. No. Oh, I got a nice potion there. I'm unfortunately getting chased by ghosts, which I can't really seem to fight. So we're just going to keep, oh God, keep running. Hopefully not getting hit. Okay, we seem to be safe here. Right, okay. I thought that was a uh, combat sequence, but that was apparently just, uh, just a run for your life kind of sequence. Okay, there's a shield. The flying shield. So I wasted a little bit of ammo there. Let's put that away. Don't do that. And some badly needed health potions. I will get to that in a second. I just want to get this health first. Oh, I can't save up here, unfortunately. Gorgeous view, though. Really gives us a perspective on how how big Green Slit is. You know, I was actually just thinking to myself, like, as I started this episode... That I'd really love to like get a bird's eye view of Green Slit and just see all the different bits. And well, this is pretty much the closest thing that we're gonna get to that. So, good stuff. Alright, what is this? E to Mount Repta Ballista. Okay. Done. Now what? E to use. What is this going to let us do? Can we like make more rope bridges? Oh no, it's, we actually just... Okay, no, for a second I thought we had could take this with us, but I can't move. So what happens if I fire this? Ooh. No hit. Right mouse button to reload. What am I aiming at? Let's reload. The trouble is I don't really know what I'm aiming at. Like, where are we trying to go? Oh, is that the target? That looks like a target. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. It's further away than we thought, so let's try and aim that a bit better. Who knows, I could be shooting at the completely wrong thing here, but that looks like a target. So let me just aim a bit higher. Got it, alright. So, we still don't have a pulley, which we need apparently for this. Perhaps that unlocks like another area that we can get to. So... I'm assuming we may need to come back here. We may need to come back after we've got the pulley. Um, does this give us anything? No. So, one more shield to go. Let's look at the journal. Near a lighthouse. So, we've got the flying shield and the night shield. Can I see any lighthouses? Really? That looks like uh, instant death if we fall off there. Alright. I'm kind of bummed we can't quick save here because... What about if I go on these steps? No. Okay, good. Because I, I think we're going to need to go back down. And uh, try and escape this tower without getting mauled by ghosts. So... We've... We've established this target here, but we don't have a pulley. Is this still going to No, this is just the, okay, this is just a platform to launch from. Need to find a pulley. So... 
Only a knock on. Alright, that's going to be our next quest then. Alright, let, let me first try and get down so that I can get out of here and plan what we do next. Okay. Alright, so we're up here now. Map drawn. Ooh. Okay. We unlocked the map of Greenslit. It's a shame this doesn't show you where you are on the map. It'd be really helpful. Uh, but yeah, you can see just how big it is. Uh, although, that said, it's not that much bigger than uh, Ravenfen. Like in sheer size. But it, it just feels so much bigger because of all the intertwining parts. Alright, so... Cool, we've gotten a map. Interesting, this wasn't here before, so I guess we've unlocked this area now. So hopefully this leads us somewhere useful. Let's keep collecting these potions. Definitely took a savage beating from those ghosts there. Arrows. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to go anywhere... anywhere specific. I wonder if we can work out where we are. Like, we're obviously on the... on the left side of that river there. Let's have a look. It's a pretty... pretty sharp turn. So I wonder if... Well, I can't point to it with my cursor, unfortunately. But... I guess we're near one of the bends. Like, either that, that first bend, like, so green slit, the word green slit goes into, like, a concave uh, part of the map, part of the river, and then there's two convex bits above and below it, where, I guess, at one of those, right, probably the one above, I would say, judging by the appearance. It's interesting that there's actually a passage out on the other side of the river there at the top. So I wonder whether you can cross the river. It must be through a pulley or something. But so there's plenty of exits. So there's two exits to Troll Hole. There's one that goes back to Deadwell, which we, we've seen already. We saw that at the start of the episode. And there's two others on the left there that we haven't seen, and one up the top. So plenty of places to go. We just need to... I feel like we just need to get the pulley to be able to unlock those exits. So... Oh, why am I stuck? I'm stuck. Okay. Let's, um... I feel like we should aim for those on the... Uh, left. Those exits on the left, because they might, might hopefully lead us to Knock Bond, maybe? Unfortunately, it's a pretty vague direction. This map isn't very detailed. Can I get out? But I feel like if we go this way, in this general direction... Then maybe we'll get somewhere. I don't know. Otherwise, uh, possibly there were signs for Knock Pond that we should follow. I know we've been here already. Okay, this just goes back to the river. Or the lake or whatever it was that we got across. Let's just double check. Oh. No, I've seen this already. I thought I found something new there. Yeah, that's just that. Okay, we don't, we don't care about that. So yes, the perplexing complexity of Green Slit continues. There's going to be a bit of backtracking as we try and navigate our way around. So tell you what, I think what we should do... Is try to find our way to one of those signs. And if we try and get kind of like... So if this is, assume this is north, try and get as far west. Is that west? Yes, west as possible. Then that will hopefully lead us somewhere useful. So we can finally get that pulley. Actually, while we're here, this is the shield mounting place. Let's mount these shields. Say before I do it. Ta-da! 
Alright, one more to go. One more shield to go. Yes, that, okay. This looks like a bridge. Probably a bridge will appear at some point. And that'll be the exit out of here. So I reckon that leaves. Uh, the only other option is those other exits that we saw further west. So we're going to have to try somehow to get there. And yes, it's going to be a case of, I think, finding the sign. Is this locked? Yes. Ah, oh, I should have opened the damn door. Ha! <laughs> okay, let me go do that. Wow. Let's go do that. While we're here. Hope I'm going the right way. Okay, it's going to be an eternal fear now that I'm going the wrong way. Thankfully, we can get out of the exit without disturbing those ghosts, I'm pretty sure. Wait. Yep, here it is. Okay, let's go down the bottom and open that door. getting stuck on that particular bit of... Okay, crossbow bolts. Alright. Good, good, good. So now that's unlocked so we can come back to it. Yeah, it's going to be back across this way. What I need is a sign. Yeah, once we can zip around on the pulley, that's going to make traversing this area so much quicker. I wonder if I'm doing things like out of the intended order, or whether it's intended that you just run around for ages for a bit before you figure all this stuff out. Probably intended. Seems like the kind of game that would do that. It can be pretty unforgiving. So like, that's... This is the only sign that, that we have that I would kind of associate with Knockpot. So, and where's the river? The river's down there. So, I was trying to use the geography to sort of figure out where we are. That's feels like the river's making that wide bend. That that big loop at the bottom, like the below the word green slit. That feels like what it's doing. So that's kind of where we are. Um. So we're pretty far away from those exits, but it's possible that... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're just... keep trying to find another sign. Because we've definitely gone all this way before. That's the tower we were just at. Well, it's not actually, but... Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm just trying to think where we haven't gone yet. It feels like I've kind of explored everything here. But obviously I haven't. I've just missed something. We've definitely gone down here before. And it also feels like we're going the wrong way when we go this way. So... Yes, bear with me as I... <sighs> the sign explicitly points us down. So, so we're going to go down. What's through here? I can't remember. Let's have a quick squiz. Nothing. Ah, oh, this is the cave that led to that bridge. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that actually gives us another landmark. Like, I'm trying to position us now. Because this leads back to the passage back to Deadwell. That's at the end of... This, uh... Like, there's this cave, big long tunnel, and there's a bridge, and there's a drop down, and that goes back to Deadwell. So that's, like, all the way at the other end. Like, that's... Yeah. So, definitely not where we want to go. I think that's where that goes. I could be wrong. I also have to wonder... how far through the game I am. 
But it feels like I'm pretty early. Like, I'm, like in terms of gameplay time, I'm only a few hours in. But also, this is just such a big chunk that it feels like sub like it should be substantial. Who knows? Yeah, if anyone's played the game before, um, you can let me know like roughly how long your playthrough was. If you know, if you played on Steam, I guess Steam will tell you. Um, because that could be an interesting thing to gauge how far through I am. Okay, that's the shield place. Oh, hang on. I feel like if that's the shield place, then probably, probably once you mount the shield, this will open up. Yeah, that looks like stairs down there. And that is what leads to those exits on the left there. That's kind of what that feels like. Which leaves me even further at a loss. <laughs> how to get this damn pulley. So look, we'll see how we go. Um, if, if the wandering around becomes sort of too tedious, I might just cut some of it out so that it's not just wasting video time with pointless running. Alright, so it's been a little while of me wandering around. This is the entrance into Troll Hall, which we don't want to go into. Um, and I also tried to find like a playthrough or a walker of the game. Um, there aren't that many. Like this is not like some big well-known game where resources are widely available. Um, which makes it interesting. So, uh, but I did eventually find, I don't know if this is what we need, but I found one new part that I just missed. And that's this staircase down here. So that's from the entrance into Troll Hall there. There's this staircase below here that we can follow. So that's what we're going to do. Save before we do that. There we go. And start making our way down. This is what I haven't, haven't... I don't think I've seen this bit before. And probably should have given that I've wandered up this rope multiple times. So, you know, that's on me. <laughs> Just need to not, not fall off the stairs here. Edge along carefully. That looks precarious. Alright, we're gonna save when we have the opportunity. Really? Come on. On this rock here. There we go. Good. Want to run off. So I don't know where this goes. But hopefully it leads us somewhere. I can see it continues down there, so hope is that we found a way forward. I'm not talking much just because I'm concentrating. I don't want to get... I want to plummet to those depths there. There's something at the end there. It doesn't look like a path, but it looks like... What is that? Ah! Alright. Okay. Well. Okay, so we found the elevator crank for Deadwell. That is good. Okay, so what that means is given my complete inability to find like a path forward um, in green slit, we're gonna go back to Deadwell once I can get back across here. And um, go pursue this because it's something different. It's a new piece of information. And who knows, it may unlock something for us. Come on, let me save. Yeah, this doesn't count as level ground. What about here? Okay, good. Good, good. That's good. Alright, so... Just... I guess that's why it's near here. Uh, well, actually, that doesn't make much sense, does it? The, I was thinking of the, um, the exit to Deadwell, but this is the exit to Troll, which is not where we want to go. So we're going to have to go... Right, that's Troll. Yeah. 
I'm going to have to go back to Deadwell. And that means going back across here. Around to the star. Yeah. Let's hopefully not fall to our deaths. And I'm assuming that the elevator in Deadwell will unlock hopefully a whole new area for us. It's not gonna lie, it would be good to get out of Greenslet because this place is uh, getting on my nerves now. Like, I think it's a little bit of a weakness of this area. Like, it's... I don't know. Maybe it's just a failure on my part as a player. Uh, we turn order run on now. That jump was a little bit less... Uh, had, had less distance than I expected. Okay, let's pick these up. No, still full. Okay. And let's go back to Deadwell. Revisit the creepy town. Yes, please. The music in here is so good. Love it. It's got this kind of like melancholic. Ooh, push ladder down. Nice. So I realize I haven't actually taken this uh, this entrance before because I assumed there was nothing new at the end of it. But a oh, lighthouse. Is this ah? Oh, is this where the fifth shield's been all along? Because the fifth shield was at a lighthouse. I've been assuming it's in Green Slit. Maybe it's here. Well, all right. Okay, creepy person in here. What do you do again? Great. Okay. Time waste to see you. Um, okay, so we can either go down... That looks like an elevator sequence of ropes down there. So we could go there. Or we could go check out the lighthouse. Because if the lighthouse is over here, I can't remember. Could we not get in? I want to go have a look. Yeah, this is pretty. I'm liking this. I mean, the, the endless mists are a little bit terrifying, but, you know comes with the territory, I suppose. Is this... traversable? Is this a platforming sequence? That just looks like it goes down here, though. Oh, no, wait, hang on. That's the elevator. We've gone down there before. I can't remember what was there, but we've gone down there before. Get that around here. Let me say before I do this. It's possible we're retreading all ground. Ooh! Nice. Okay, that looks like it just ends. Okay, let's go do the elevator crank because that's the, that's a solid lead that we have now. And I'm excited to see what, what new area we unlock. So look, possibly I'm doing stuff all out of intended order, but hey. It's an open world. And mossy rocks. I do love some good mossy rocks. Oh, back at the town. Whoa! What is happening? What was that? Okay. That sounds like something we need to deal with. Possibly? Red door. Don't know. Do I want to go after that? Do I want to go to the... Ah. Uh, that guy wasn't there before. Crazy guy with a knife? What's going on here? Okay. This place has changed. Clearly there's new stuff to investigate here in Deadwell. So, let's go into this... Alright, I'm going to regret this. Let's go into the church. You guys good? You chill? Hello. I don't like this in the least. Did you send an evil spirit after me? Uh huh. Ah, oh, I need a key to the bell tower. Okay. Well, the plot thickens. But clearly, I can't do anything about that right now. So, what about over here? Are you gonna attack me? What's your deal? 
No, that's a that's a feather. That's a quill. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, not surprised. That was a creepy plot hook lady if I ever saw one. All right. Um. Full health, so we don't need that. Is that a potion? Can you buy potions in this guy? I don't think you can. I think he just heals you. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, what about you? You got anything? Ghost of the Witch guards the key. Maybe that was the ghost we saw. Who knows? Um, where's the elevator? Ooh. This item? been down here? God, there's too many new things I'm discovering the second time round. Okay, let's see where this goes. Oh, there's too many threads. I can't remember if I've been down here or not before. be no way to dodge that. Okay, hang on. Let me... Uh, let's equip some... Uh, some better weapons. That's slot three. Oh, okay. I can't believe I that. Ow, 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 ow. Probably gonna die here. Probably gonna die here. Health, oh boy. Ow, ow. No. No. One health. Oh shit, it's run away, run away, run away. Health. This is me, no way to dodge those. That's not good. Okay, there's an emergency health down here. Gonna need and some more axes. Vertebrates crossbow. Oh, I got the rope wheel key. Okay, we could try and just run away. Uh oh, never come. Shit. Yeah, we're gonna die. Ah, oh, okay. So we've had a period of inactivity and then just all this stuff happening now. Alright, so I'm going to... Oh, that key, getting that key would be good. So we could see what's in behind the house. Mm. Alright, I'm just going to make a run for it. Because we don't necessarily need... Or I guess I'll just try and kill her again. Let's see. You gotta be really, uh, like, quick about it. You gotta be really efficient because there's practically no way to dodge that lightning. <laughs> Alright. Come on, lady. Nah, that's taking, like, tiny slivers out of our health. There's no way. Unless the way is to, like, just kite her extremely. Like, just extreme kiting. But I don't know, man. Run, 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 run. Ow. Pick me up, please. Like... Get away from me. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Come on, run. Let me get these axes in here. I've already got them. Okay. I need to... these health potions she's so low did I get her yes wow whoo all right nicely done quick save here snatch up all these health potions gotten the key already but let's just go back down here just in case we've missed anything because we all know this game likes to hide stuff from you that's pretty isn't it Oh, there are more axes. Okay. Good, good, good. Definitely we're not, was not using that crossbow on her. Alright. Good. Well. Lots of stuff happening now. So let's get back on this thing. Get out of here. Okay, so we've got two options now, either we keep going uh, to that elevator to try and find where the crank goes, or we go open that door and see what's in the creepy lady's shop. Hello, oh she's gone. different. Alright. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a a proper save. Oh no. Not load slot. <laughs> save slot. There we go. Good thing I quick saved. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Unlock. This is probably gonna result in something bad happening. Uh oh. That can't be a good thing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What are you gonna do, creepy witch? Will you? Oh, rude. <laughs> okay, so we clearly got a dodger. Because. <laughs> wow. Alright. We have to dodge her. Unless I just have to go this way. I wonder, can I get that jump or run on? Oh, so close. Fall to our death. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's just the if it's just the juke to get her to, to throw herself off the cliff. And then we unlock that path behind her. Must be. Must be. Because I'm not possibly with a little bit of a run-up I could make that jump, but it seems just out of reach, I'm not sure. So let, okay. We've got to save. Let's let's try this. Do -do 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 -do. Get away from me. <laughs> Alright. Bye. Ooh, heard the splash. 
Ooh. What is this? Is this the other? Wait, no, this looks like a water wheel or something. Ah, is this it? Is this the elevator with the missing crank? Okay, there's two parts here. That doesn't go anywhere. Ooh, all right. Where is this taking me? Seems to not be the one with the crank, unless that's it there. Hello? Oh no, it's gone. Come back. Can I put a crank on this? No. Well, I guess we're down here now. Wait, we're still in an interaction? What's going on here? God, this... this that's not gone at all how I thought it would go. That's been good. It's not crossbow. Ah, oh, there's a shield. The final shield. So close, but so far. How do we get to it? it looks like... Oh, is that a bridge there? No, that's just a little jetty thing. Well, it must be this way, because there's no other way to go. Emergency health, that's useful. Can I go down there? I may have to. Click save. Down we go. Oh god, really? <laughs> that just... Uh, too enthusiastic. That's fine. That's why you quick save liberally. Right. What's down here? Oh, there actually is something down here. Okay, let's stock up on resources first. This, this doesn't seem to go anywhere. Nothing that way. Is anyone going forward? Is this it? Okay. Nice. Got in the final shield. That's great. That is awesome. Okay. More progress than I expected to make today, to be honest. And uh, let's get, let's end the episode there because we've done a lot. Um, and that's a good milestone. So thank you for watching. Next time we'll go back up to Green Slit. Well, we got to figure out how to get out of here first. Uh, but we'll get back up to Green Slit, hopefully, mount the final shield, and uh, see where that gets us. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Deciduous DJ. If you like this, please subscribe. Um, every, like I said at the beginning of the video, every little bit of interaction helps. Every subscribe helps, every like, every comment. So please do all of those things. I will greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. See you next time.